Universities are hugely diverse places that bring together students of all different faiths and beliefs. Lots of these students are part of faith and belief societies, which do a huge amount of good work on campus. But at the same time, they can be sources of tension and division. So we've come out onto the streets in three university towns across the UK to find out from the general public what they think life is like on the ground in universities. Let's see what they think. I did. No. No. I did, yes. I'm thinking, because we're doing A-levels at the moment, so hopefully yeah. in the future we'll get there. No, but you see, I'm 74 next week, and girls in my day weren't allowed to go away from home. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, we did, yeah. Not me. Did you go to university? You went to? I can't remember. Historically, the left were open for discourse and conversation, but it seems they're the ones trying to shut conversation down now, and everything is getting super complicated. Uh, I think that's existing because they've cancelled quite a few people at the union over the last sort of 18 months because they don't agree with their views. I think it happens. At least only what we read in the newspapers, see, that's where we get our information from. They want to let people speak, but then it can result in quite bad things coming out that hurt the people in the room we've yeah. had experience with before. Yeah, so it's uh, sort of like, it's wanting to allow discussion to let people talk about the issues so then people can grow and like be educated and see different opinions. I think people they are free to say whatever they think, whatever they want. I think they should moderate it. I don't think it's necessary. Either everyone can talk or no one can talk. Like if you, if you if you close conversation, you create echo chambers and you radicalise more people. I think they should limit, but it's very difficult to limit, isn't it, really? Yeah, I think it's a really bad thing. Um, we've, we, the radicalisation thing is quite scary. If it comes to, you know, like ISIS, who are extreme, then yeah, absolutely, they need to be... Rebuked, and all of us would. Yeah, and I think Muslims together you know, yeah. should rebuke them. No one should know? be offended by that. I think it gets a lot of attention with social media and through the media in general, but I do think it still is, in terms of kind of minutes sort of uh, aired, it's still quite small. If their religion brings them into contact with us and they're friendly and not hostile to other religions, that's fine. As long as these people who are going into those beliefs are going into something else. So if you're joining a, a, a group because you believe in a certain uh, religion or a certain faction or whatever, that's fine. But as long as you're still going to the drama clubs and as soon as you're still going to sports clubs, you're still going to cinema clubs, you're mixing with people from different ideas. I feel like um, people should be allowed to express like religious freedom and stuff like that. I can't understand why people have to separate off. I think, you know, we all live in one, on one planet in one world and I think we should all mix in together. I don't too old, I'm afraid. Yeah, a few at my work, interns and stuff. Yes. Uh, no. Not at this present time, no. Yes. Right. Yeah, my granddaughter is at university. <laughs>